the worst cheaters ever. What's going on guys, Shaq Reacts here once again, and this is where some wild clips of the worst cheaters I can find. My favorite clip will be at the end, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till the end to find it. But this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, it's like we have this guy who's sitting in his car, and it looked like he locked his car because I guess his girlfriend just found out he was cheating on her, and she absolutely flipped out, as she should, to be honest, and I guess this guy just didn't do anything except record. She threw her coffee at him, she cursed him out a bunch of times, and I guess she just wanted to talk to him, to be honest, but the way he was acting, of course, anybody would be mad. Check out this clip this guy is absolutely a loser And this next one absolutely sucks as well. Basically, there is this guy. I guess he was on a date with this woman until his actual girlfriend showed up and decided to expose him on camera in front of everyone. And not only that, at the end of the clip, the girl actually does flip out on top of the other girl because the other girl also found out about her the entire time and she still ended up going on dates with this guy. Absolutely pathetic and disgusting. <laughs> And this next one, I guess this girl is absolutely crazy. Basically, I guess this guy was breaking up with her. And she decided to get revenge on him by almost hitting her car with him. You can completely see she's flipping out, can't control herself. But thankfully, this guy was recording everything just in case anything happened. Don't do it. Don't do it. What are you going to do? 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 Give me the fucking phone! Really? Really? Why are you doing this shit, Randy? Why? Because of Shaylin and Marissa? No. Why did Shaylin already talk you into it? No. Yeah. No. Then why do you want not want to be with me? This shit right here. Shit right here. It made me do it, Randy! And this next one, I really do feel bad for this woman. Basically, I guess she's sitting at, like, some lunch table. I'm not sure if this is high school. They look a lot older. And I guess this guy was cheating on her the entire time. And when she confronts him about it, he really just doesn't care at all. And he even calls her ugly. And how he doesn't love her anymore. I feel so bad for her. I'm surprised she just didn't get up and leave. What you mean? Explain what? You just cheated on her with me. What the fuck? How? What do you mean, how? I, I got with you before I was with her. You can't get the memo. I told you. You got mad because I told her that I was taking her to home. You didn't tell me that she I had a girlfriend. I don't want to be with you. I don't care. All right, so stop coming to my house. Okay. So this is the person who told me to come to the house. Move the fuck around. I'm not going to move shit around. Cassidy. I don't care. I don't get it. And this next one, I guess this girl has caught her boyfriend cheating in this way. Let me know what you guys would do. And this next one, I guess, there is this couple who seem to be out of a movie. I've never seen a couple really act like this before. It seems like she is really the toxic one. And he's just kind of trying to deal with it all. She had a huge tantrum slamming something on the floor. I think it was his phone. And then just wait till the end of the clip because, well, she just asked completely different. I guess she apologized really quickly and this guy knew she was going to do it. I, I don't know. This couple seems like completely toxic. <laughs> she just broke his phone. They're kissing. 
And this next one, I guess this is a way to find out if your spouse is cheating on you. And this girl decided, I guess, just steal his phone. And he acted in this way. But check out the end of the clip. It is actually surprising. I know if your boyfriend or girlfriend is cheating on you. What's up, hey. Give me my phone. <laughs> 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 oh, boy, what are you doing? What are you doing, though? Because. I want to go through it. Stop. What you mean, stop? <laughs> no, bro, what is you doing? Bro, are you cheating on me? I don't want you to go through my phone because I have the engagement ring. Oh my God. What? And this next one, I guess, is girl decided to pull a prank on her boyfriend by hiding in his car. Now, to be honest, this is some wild as hell prank because I guess she expected like to scare him or something. But no, she ended up hearing something else completely, and I would have screamed as well. This is gonna sound really weird, but I just followed my boyfriend in TJ Maxx because I want to prank him. And I was checking his location, and I was like, oh, "Where is he going?" Because we're supposed to be meeting in 30 minutes for like Valentine's Day. And I think he's getting my gift because he forgot or something, but I'm literally getting to, going to scare him. Like, I'm going to get in his car and scare him. Oh, my God. He's literally getting out right now. Okay, let's go. His car doesn't lock right now because his key's broken, but he's getting it fixed tomorrow. So, like, that's how I can get in. Yes, he does have a 2020 Rubicon. Probably later. I'm like really busy tonight. I mean, like I just have to teach him Max. I, I have to grab a few things, but yeah, probably around like 11. Probably. Um, yeah, I. Who's behind? Who the are you? And this next one, I guess, is girl decided to visit a bar because she saw her girlfriend's location there. When she said she was not at the bar, she was just out with a couple friends. And let's just say she was definitely out with somebody else. And her girlfriend doesn't care about cheating at all. So my girlfriend told me she's out with family, and she forgot that I have her location, and she's at this bar. So we're about to pull up on her and see what she's really doing. <laughs> hey, babe, I thought you were out with family. Who's this? Hi, this is my girlfriend. Not anymore. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> This next one feels so bad for this woman. Basically, she's disabled. She ended up catching her man cheating on her with this entire crew. And well, he seems like he didn't like her at all anymore. And even after getting exposed for cheating, he acted in this way. And I feel so bad for her. And this sex with this woman definitely failed this test, but I don't know why this man is still staying with her. I guess he has a really high tolerance for what she can do. Usually any other guy would not let this go away, but basically they were doing a test, a loyalty test to switch phones, and this girl completely failed, if I'm being honest. But at the end of the interview, it seems like this guy was not bothered at all, and to me, it seems like he's really, really scared to break up with her. What's your name? Brittany. Brittany, what's your name? Jason. You guys are a couple, right? Yes. How long have you guys been dating for? For like three years. Three years? That's a long time. Yeah. I have a little loyalty check just to make sure. We check her phone and check his phone for 45 seconds. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right, 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Not too long. Where's your Instagram? Where, it's right there. It's right there. there. Oh, yeah. I'll check the DMs right now. 45 seconds. All right. Whoa. How the oh. You can read them. You can read Look any of them. Found. What, what, is, what is ex boyfriend? Ex boyfriend? <laughs> you have some explaining to do. I really don't. That's your, to hide. What is this? That's, that's your ex-boyfriend. And what are they talking about? Oh, man. As you guys see, the boyfriend really just doesn't mind. And this guy is like, yo, that's your ex-boyfriend. Like, why the hell are you still texting him even after three years? And just, just listen to this guy's response. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why he's dealing with this. I guess he just doesn't want to leave her. Oh, well, what's going on in the ex-boyfriend's DMs? How what's going on? Was that? That's recent. That's at the top. He does text me a lot. Do you know about this? Wednesday. You know about this? I do not. You have some explaining to do. Some explaining to do. Oh. 
boy. This guy. This guy. He won't leave her alone. Okay. <laughs> uh, you have some explaining to do. How you feel about this? How you feel about this? I'm not worried about it. Not worried? Okay, no. Okay. All right, we're good then. I don't have anything to hide. Okay, okay, okay. So I think it's just funny mostly. Okay. Because he won't leave her alone. Okay. But I'm not. I don't want to look through his phone because I trust him. Okay, okay. Well, did they pass? I mean, was that a pass or a fail? Was that a pass or a fail? That was a pass. And this next one, if a girl ever acts like this to you, you should just run away or end the friendship completely because it just sucks. What would he have to do for him to get you as his girl? Oh, that's hard because we're friends. We've been friends for so long. We wouldn't ruin it like that. No, we're friends. Shit, that's what she said. Wow, man. Uh... And I'm probably going on the list, guys. There is this woman who ended up showing up to her ex's wedding because she found out that he was getting married and I guess she ended up dressing up in the same dress as well. It seems like the actual bride did not like this at all. She completely walked off and I guess I kind of understand what she's doing. She just ruined her entire wedding day. This is absolutely insane. Check out this clip. <laughs> But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.